Hey guys, welcome back to Our Urban Homestead. My name is Chelsea. If you're seeing me for the first time, welcome to those that have been here. Welcome back. Everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. So this recipe was sent to me from Rachel, uh, my friend and moderator. This was her great grandma's recipe. She said that her great grandma, uh, origin I can't pronounce the name of the town that she wrote, so, <laughs> uh, from France. And this was one of her family's favorite recipes. Her great grandma died when um, she was a teenager, unfortunately, but I'm glad that Rachel was able to share this recipe with me. It sounds amazing. I can't wait to eat it. So we are going to get right on into it. And you can use beef or chicken. I'm using beef for this recipe and it is called Catalina steak. So her recipe calls for, uh, you know, cubed up steak or chicken. When I seen the price of like, I'm assuming she meant like, um, stew meat. Rachel, let me know in the comments if that's what you meant. Uh, but when I seen the price of it, I was like, no, 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 honey. <laughs> so I got some cubed steak instead. Um, it was, even these were still very expensive, way more than I wanted to pay. Um, I'm just going to season these really quick with my house seasoning. It's just random spices <laughs> that I like to use on any beef. I'm going to season both sides and we're going to get this pan heating up. So I've got the pan on. I'm going to put just a bit of olive oil in. She said she does this in her cast iron skillet. I'm not. <laughs> so while I get this warmed up, uh, you're going to need onion. I'm doing two onion and you're going to need some pepper. So I'm doing two onion and two pepper and I'm going to get those chopped up while this is warming. that onion was strong, made me cry. All right, our oil is ready. Gonna brown the meat on both sides. And while this is browning, I'm gonna work on cutting up the pepper. I'm gonna take this first batch of meat out. Yeah, it's not cooked all the way through, but this is gonna simmer with all the other ingredients for a while. So I think that's perfect. Woo! Hello. Now I'm gonna throw the chopped pepper and onion. In. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. And some crushed red pepper flakes. I'm going to saute these just a little bit. 
just enough for the onion to kind of release some of its juices so I can get all of this delicious flavor on the bottom of the pan out. So the vegetable, the onions and the peppers have just released enough of their juices to where all of that delicious flavor on the bottom of the pan is able to be soaked up. Um, French or Catalina, this is my favorite brand. Uh, you can certainly use whatever brand you love. The recipe calls for eight, eight ounces. This is a 15 ounce bottle. So we're gonna use half of this bottle. And then eight ounces of water. She said that um, her great grandma would you know, add the water to the bottle and shake it to get every last drop. Love that. Tons of flavor in there. You don't want to waste it, right? <laughs> then we are going to add the meat, Whoop. all of the meat and the juice in. So this is kind of like how I do my chicken shish kebabs, right? Um, only I marinate the chicken in the French dressing overnight. And then I put on the kebabs the onions and peppers and I add tomatoes when we have them and season. Okay, so we're going to simmer this until the sauce is reduced by half it smells so good you guys if you have a family recipe you would like to share with me i would love to make it you can send me the recipe in an email i'll put my email up here or my email is always in the description box um, at the bottom I answer every email that I get. Um, I would love to try your family recipes, guys. So if you want to, send them to me. I would love to make them. So I actually have to run somewhere. So I'm gonna pop this into the Instant Pot. Uh, pressure cooker, if you don't have an Instant Pot. I tasted the sauce. Oh, my Lanta. Y'all, it tastes so good. Why am I uh, popping it into the pressure cooker? Well, because we want to have tender meat, right? And I can't, I can't leave my stove on while I leave, so. Of course, I'm going to make a mess per use. <laughs> and I think I'm going to set the Instant Pot for 30 minutes. I have no idea if that will be long enough. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? It smell. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it. I wish you guys. Well, you can taste it, but you have to make it yourself. <laughs> so good, so so good. All right, we're going to set it and forget it. <laughs> Uh, 
we'll do 30 minutes. And that's that. Rachel says to serve this over mashed potatoes or rice. You know, I'm chubby, so I'm going with the mashed potatoes, honey. <laughs> and I'll be back. Well, we'll have April give it the old taste test. How about that? I was going to do a quart of my dehydrated mashed potatoes but i went into my pantry and i am completely out i will link that video at the end of this video if you're interested in seeing how i have shelf stable dehydrated mashed potatoes that literally they taste way better than the instant it's just like you mashed potatoes so instead, I'm gonna use store-bought instant mashed potatoes, not as good as the ones that I made. I buy these in bulk by the case at Gordon Food Service. Um, this is just a great thing to have on hand if you are of a preparedness mindset like I am. Um, so yeah. All I gotta do is add some water to these. These already are like buttery flavor. Uh, so there's two different kinds, if you guys are interested in these. There's two different kinds that Gordon's sells. There's the custom mashed potatoes, which are the ones that are more flavorful. And then there are instant mashed potato flakes. These are the ones I recommend they're delicious for instant mashed potatoes. Um, so my kettle's on. I'm gonna wait for that to boil and throw them in a bowl, whip them up, and supper is on the table. So I, I do add a little bit of pepper to these. These don't need any salt. They don't need butter. I like I like pepper, our family likes pepper, so. But, I mean, look how light and fluffy these are. They're, I mean, they're really good as far as uh, instant mashed potato goes. Okay, uh, I was gonna have April do the taste test, but she unfortunately has to work late tonight. So I'm gonna dish up a plate and we're gonna give it the old taste test. I'm gonna do just a small little portion cause I do wanna wait until um, everyone is home. So I'm gonna get some of the veggies and a little bit of the meat on there. I'm not using April's golden utensils <laughs> those are strictly for her okay guys let's give this a taste it's gonna be really hot mmm I'm gonna do my fat girl happy dance. You guys. Wanna bite? <laughs> so good. Mm. This is a definitely A keeper of a recipe. Rachel, have you ever tried to can this recipe before? Because I think this would be, if you had like the stew meat, I think this would be killer. Like one, you know, one meal, meal in a jar. 
Mm. You guys, I can't. Yes. Oh, you guys, that is good. It's sweet. It's a little tangy. It's a little, you know, got a little spice from the uh, red pepper flake. It is absolutely all around delicious. Mm hmm. So thank you, Rachel, for sending this recipe. This is definitely uh, gonna be in our rotation of meals. You guys, you have to try it, it's so good. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a like, drop me a comment below. And until next time, guys, from my kitchen to yours, abundance and blessings to you. Bye-bye.